3 input and 3 transistors in the pull down A in series with B in series with C. This is my out, uh, ground, this is my output and 3 PMOSs in parallel. We have already seen how to make the schematics. We want this to be equivalent to our inverter, correct, similar to what we did where we know that mobility ratio is twice. So when W by L of this was 1, I got an R. Of this when it was 2, I was getting an R. And I want my pull up to be equal to R. And I want my pull down to be equal to R. This is what we are looking at, correct? So this totally has to give me R. That means this has to be R by 3 plus R by 3 plus R by 3, which will give me R. I was getting R when it was 1. If I increase my W by L, I know the resistance would reduce. So when it was 2, resistance was R by 2. So now W by L has to be 3 for me to get R by 3. So it's very simple. Sizing is 3, W by L, unit 3. Exactly same we have done here. See, 3, R by 3 and so on and so forth. For the pull-up also, it becomes very simple now. We have to presume only one of the transistor to be on. And when one of them is on, it has to either this is on or this is on or this is on. It has to give us an R resistance. And we know that that happens when W by L of PMOS is 2, I get a value of resistance as R. So it's very straightforward. Any one of them could be on and has to give us R. So it has to be 2. This is the worst case designing, mind you. I'm not taking the best case. I'm making the worst case where only one of the transistor is on and it has to give me a value of resistance equal to R. Similarly, let's go ahead and do a design of a 2 input NOR. So nor we know is given by y equal to a plus b the whole bar. Hide the bar, whatever is below the bar becomes my pull down. So this is a parallel to b. This is ground. Series a in series with b. This is my vdd ground and this is my v out. So we want to map this to a symmetric inverter. Correct. This is my output. This is my input. This is 1. When it W by L was 1, it gave me a resistance value R. When here W by L was 2, it gave me a value of resistance R because we assume mu n equal to twice mu p. So let's start with pull down. We want the pull down value of resistance to be equal to R. And in the worst case, because they are parallel, we'll presume only one of them is on. Only one of them is on. So when one of them is on, I want the value of resistance to be R. We know that for a pull down, when the value is 1, I get the value of resistance as R. So W by L of pull down is fixed. This would be unit one. This also would be one. Let's quickly go ahead and do the similar exercise for pull up. We want the total series resistance to be R. That means this is R by two. This is R by two. We know that when W by L for PMOS is two, I get the value of resistance as R. We also know that when W by L of PMOS is one, I get the value of resistance as two R. That means if it's Getting reduced by half, this is getting increased by half. So let's go ahead. This R is nothing but 2R by 2, remember. So if I go ahead and increase it to 4 W by L, I will get 2 times increase, right, here. So the resistance has to reduce by 2, which is nothing but R by 2, or this, how did I get this? If you are confused, it's nothing but 2R by 4, correct? So here the width from here to here increased by 2, so resistance has to decrease by 2. And this is nothing but 2R by 4. That gives us a general formula. If it is N, the general formula says that, see, the 2 is common. So this is mobility because the mobility ratio is 2, right? So mobility into the resistance of PMOS into R upon the W by L value, correct? Here it's N, so this will be N. If my mobility would have been 3, this would have been 3R by N or 3R by 4 and so on and so forth. So now we are set to fill this table. When it's 3, we know that mobility is still 2 in this example, correct? We had assume mobility is 2. This was just an other case which we were considering, but all the analysis we have done when mu, mu n is equal to twice mu p. So mobility 2 into the resistance upon the W by L, so 2R by 3 for 4, 2R by 4. For n, we just saw 2r by n. So this is the mobility, this is the w by l. Similarly, we got the general equation for PMOS also with the mobility ratio or mobility equal to mu n equal to twice mu p. So now, what we can make out from here is that I want here r by 2, correct? I want here r by 2. So how will I get this as r by 2? We just saw if the w by l is 4 and series so both have to be on in case of the worst case, both the transistors has to be on. So this is four and four. Very straightforward, isn't it? So let's do the last case of a two input XOR. Wind this up. 